insight into a test that can help doctors predict your heart attack risk. 12 on Health reporter Gillian Neff is in our newsroom. And Gillian, this goes beyond the regular cholesterol level check. Yes, Erica, doctors say they're big on checking total cholesterol and ratios of LDL and HDL, the bad and good cholesterol. But those levels don't always correlate with cardiac events. More than 50% of people who have heart attacks will have a relatively normal total cholesterol. Doctors say there's another test that may better predict heart attack risk that few people know about. It's a test to analyze cholesterol particles in your blood. Lipid subfractionations, an assessment of particle size, so you can identify how small the particles are. Cardiologist Dr. Thomas Nero says small particles can pose a big risk. Platelets can start clumping together and it can completely close the artery off. And when this happens, this is when you're having a heart attack. I would definitely want the test. But here's the thing. I'm hesitant when using these tests. Dr. Nero says even if the test shows the patient is at high risk, there's no definite treatment to change the size of cholesterol particles right now. He says only lifestyle changes have shown to make a difference. People who are, have diabetes and people who have prediabetes will have more smaller particles. And so by uh, avoiding diabetes and the risks of diabetes, um, we will change those particle sizes. If a patient wants to test them, will you do it? Sure. Otherwise, he says he'll only recommend the test for certain patients, like young heart attack patients or people with no true signs of heart disease but a strong family history of heart attack deaths. The test to identify your cholesterol particle size runs about $150 to $200, and Dr. Nero says insurance usually does cover it. To learn more, you can go to our website, news12.com.